Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today we are talking about differences among identity add identity method that is extension method you can see in the of the uh, your services. So add identity, add default identity, add identity core. So what is the difference between among? Add identity, add default identity and add identity core are methods provided by Microsoft Identity Framework and they are used to configure authentication and authorization in an ASP.NET Core application. First of all, we are talking about add identity. Add methods, these methods add the identity services to the dependency injection container, which includes services for managing users, role, claims, and authentication. It it is used when you want to customize the authentication and authorization services provided by the identity framework, such as changing as a password policy or adding custom claims. So here we have a uh, simple example of add identity method. In add identity method, you have to define first of all application user as well as identity role. By using the option, you have to change the password that is required digit that is true in the password, you have to define the required digits, required length that is minimum that is 8, required lowercase that is true, required known alphanumeric that is false, required uppercase that is true. So uppercase is required, lowercase is required and required length is uh, 8 and a required digit is true. And after that, you have to add add entity framework store add entity framework store in which you can define the application db context so that is communicate with directly with that com, uh, application db context and add default token provider for the email purpose you can say so that is the added add identity and the next one is add default identity and what is the add default identity this method is a convenience method that adds the default identity services to the dependency injection container which includes the basic features needed for the authentication and authorization. It is used when you want to quickly add authentication and authorization to your application without much customization. If you are, uh, if you not want to uh, much customize your identity, then you can use default identity. So in the default identity, you have a application user that is by default and add ID, add entity framework store that with the applications application db context there is a no define uh, the rules of add uh, you can say that add default token provider as well and etc but in in case of add identity core that is similar with the add identity but a difference between both add identity and add identity core this method adds only the core identity services this method only uh, focus on that line this method adds only the core identity service to the dependency injection container such as user and a role management and it is used when you want to build a custom authentication and authorization system from scratch without using the pre-built service provided by the entity framework so if you want to customize uh, and start from the scratch then you can use add identity core and without using the pre-built services provided by the identity framework identity framework so here we have add identity core application user in which you can define and with the options you have the similar with the add identity but you can notice that add user store in which you can define application user store user manager add sign in manager that is application sign in manager application user manager and application user store so that that is the difference between add identity core as well as add identity also because in add identity you have to define already we have something like that that is store manager and uh, sign in manager but add identity core is a part of the core feature so you just define from the scratch from the beginning so you can define add identity core from the beginning so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and .net Thank you very much.